Go. Hey, it's Tree. Hi. Okay, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm Bohemian Grove. The main rituals are coming up um, July 21st, July 22nd, July 23rd. And the Mary Magdalene ritual is on July 21st, and I will be at Bohemian Grove. Um, I'm going to be there and I'm hoping to open up communications, be a mediator between the Sangarians and the humans, um, and, um, you know, and maybe even play the part as Mary Magdalene in their ritual, which would be a sacrifice, but if that happens, well, I will die so you can live if I have to. I'd rather not die, but I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I've been in there um, twice. Um, in the past five years I've went and they let me go in for two hours once. I went in at 721 at night in the forest and then I hit the top of the walled city and I couldn't go any further and I'd written them months and months and months before letting them know I was going to be coming. Um, at that time I gave everything that I owned away um, and I was offering myself up and though they wouldn't take me. <laughs> if they ate me I'm sure they'd get a terrible stomach ache. But anyhow, so um, I know there's a big protest or a gathering going on there. Well, I'm not going to be protesting. I'm just trying to open up communications between the reptilians and the humans. And I've been at this for over 15 years. <clears throat> and, uh, oh yes, and so ritual ropes, like me and my roommate are making um, a couple for me. And I got to tell you guys about this. Um, so I'm going to get white ropes and it's going to be like chiffon and it's going to be layered down, you know, and trail behind. And then we're going to like use the fluorescent yellow markers, you know, and make it fluorescent yellow. And it's going to be real sheer. And I'm going to get those uh, glow-in-the-dark fluorescent necklaces and bracelets, and then wrap them all, you know, all the way up my legs and my waist and my arms, so that it's, it'll be pitch black out there. But underneath that fluorescent chiffon robe, I'll be lit up like a lightning bug, <laughs> making circles around the groves, um, singing to them and chanting. And um, <clears throat> right when I get there, there's an entrance that you go in. And they're, Bohemian Grove, they're very well acquainted with me. They know me a lot because I've pestered the hell out of them for so long. Uh, and right when you go in, you know, the main entrance, I'm going to go there and I'm going to bow, tell them it's a tree, and ask them if I can park my car there, <laughs> right there by the main gate so that nobody bothers it and see if they'll let me do that. And I come in peace. Um, we got to do something. We've got to do something to open up communications with these reptilians. Because um, if there's not some type of communication, then they're just going to over, um, destroy us and themselves and everything. Um, and like I said, I've spent over 15 years of my life. This isn't just a hobby. I've dedicated my entire life to this. Everything, every microsecond, everything I do is all about that. It's about you. Because um, I am a Luminatri, Earth Mother to be. Um, I wish there was more people out there trying to um, do this, you know, um, help protect um, humanity. There's a lot of people that are trying, but the only way to really do anything is just to deal with the main issue. You know, if you got an infection, you don't try to heal everything around it. You go right to where the infection is. You know, if there's a problem, you deal with the problem, the source, not everything around it. You know, all that little stuff, it don't matter how much little stuff we do. None of it's going to matter unless we deal with the issues at hand, which over everything is the Illuminati, the Illuminati pyramid. Oh, and I also wanted to tell you too, um, the dollar bill with the pyramid on it, you know, the Illuminati pyramid and the rays coming out of that. Well, that's the Luxor, okay? That represents the Luxor here in Las Vegas. And it's the brightest light in the world into space. And um, it's also a talisman. And that's where the uh, a whole bunch of Sangarians and humans' souls are stored when, um, they uh, inhabit a human and push them out. They store their souls there, and then they use them on the tree of life and the sephira um, as demons and angels and archangels and different ones have different powers, and then they call them out and make them do their bidding. Uh, but the Illuminati pyramid, you know, the brightest light in the world, Tesla energy, the dollar bill, it's all connected. And Queen Elizabeth is the leader of the Illuminati, and she is the Earth Mother, and she's not doing a good job. 
So Elizabeth, you know, open up communication with me. Let's work something out because I'm not going to go away. And you know that without the life force of the human, you're going to die. You guys feed off of the life force of the humans, but if the humans are out of the drain, the well is empty. The only way to, you know, we have to restore life by, you know, um, refilling the well to bring life back. We're all empty here, but this time we're not going to let you take our souls and destroy us. You know, I will give everything I can to you, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let you take it from this earth and these people and hurt them anymore, okay? Peace Earth Party rules. I'll see you guys at BOHO July 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and I will be bringing my video camera too. <laughs> okay, peace out.